Hi YouTube folks, I just want to go through my uh, camera gadgets on the bike, uh, my plans for uh, recording my uh, my trips out whenever I get the chance to uh, ride the bike again anyway. Um, first thing is I've changed my microphone, I've reduced the size of my Merkin, uh, it's just there, that little furry thing, lovely. I did have the bigger microphone and um, dead cat or windshield in there but it struck me that that, that the uh, microphone that I had was a Rode Video Micro I believe and it's a directional microphone it was kind of a, a cylinder or tube shaped microphone so it probably wasn't really doing a great job of picking up sound so um, although I can't test this yet because really uh, I need to go riding to test it I've got a small lavalier microphone which goes to volume attenuator so I can do some testing and try and find the right sound that doesn't end up too loud and ends up clipping on the video. Now that then is connected to this cable which oh, just sit myself down goes down here goes up there somewhere out to this point. I have uh, another cable. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite reach all the way to the camera. If it did, I'd be plugging straight into the into the GoPro. But as it is, I've got a little extension cable, which then takes me to my GoPro, my GoPro uh, Hero 6. Um, to have that connected to the microphone, you've got to have the stupid microphone dongle. So I've got the microphone plugging into that little box, and I've also got power. So I've got power. This little lead is actually a GoPro Type C lead, um, which came with this camera, and that's going into back up to my um, Canvas friendly USB adapter, which I fitted in a previous video. So that's the recording and power side of things for the GoPro Six, and I've done some video with this in this um, position already. I'm really impressed with the stability of the the footage. What helps? is this substantial beastie uh, so um, that is nice and sturdy I've tried plastic you know your typical GoPro mounts before and they just keep breaking well in my hands they keep breaking so uh, I've gone for um, a metal one and the only one I could find um, I think I got from China and it's awesome I've also collected a load of GoPro mounts over the years the last couple of years actually so um, this little bit of the GoPro mount, that's aluminium. That's aluminium as well. Um, obviously the case is aluminium. So it's all very sturdy. I've also got, at the moment, and again, I haven't tested it yet. You can see uh, one of my Sonys. Uh, that's uh, the AS200V camera. And you can just see maybe just a little bit of Velcro. So I've got Velcro attached to the side of the camera. Uh, that's just black tape covering the microphones to uh, help with uh, wind reduction and on the uh, inside or on the box where the, I think the battery goes if I remember rightly based on the opposite of this side I've got two strips of velcro there as well so it's just velcroed on but it is you know solid it's not going anywhere well, at least I don't think so I haven't tested it <laughs> it might go somewhere but uh, that's the plan for the view out the back um, and that's the reason why I had to get a tail tidy to uh, lift up the uh, the number plate. Hello. We're in lockdown. I can't ride a bike. So you just get this saggy upside down face. Sorry. Bye. The last thing on the bike is a collection of uh, various mounts. Um, bit hard to see by the looks of it um, because of the light in the background I think but yeah so you've got um, again uh, aluminium aluminium kind of mount there that's a little plastic bit and another aluminium uh, mounting piece for this camera that's actually designed uh, for this camera that's actually a tripod mount but there's also a little pin as well underneath and that fits into a gap at the bottom of the camera to stop it spinning around. It does spin around a little bit still. You might not be able to see this very well. I might be focusing on all the wrong things. Uh, but there's the tripod mount. There's the extra little 
hole for this to mount on. Still allows a little bit of side to side movement. Which is good because I think when the camera was facing straight back, then I think my helmet would have been to the side of the shot, not in the middle of the shot. So, I mean, that might be good sometimes, but yeah. Oh, just turned it on by mistake. So, um, yeah, that helps out to point the camera directly towards me. But I haven't tested it yet. So if that doesn't work out very well, then I could put this on instead and sit the Sony on top of that. Then that will allow me to spin the camera as well, kind of rotate it forwards, you know, over the top of the uh, windscreen as well as backwards. And that could be handy. Potentially, I could put my GoPro here instead of the Sony. But uh, the problem is this Hero 3 has not got any uh, image stabilization. The Sony's got uh, image stabilization, both of the uh, Sony's have. That's about it in terms of gadge for when I eventually get back on the road and hopefully I'll be testing it soon. Uh, if we all stay safe, stay home and protect the NHS. So thanks for hanging out with me. Take care. Bye bye.